Hello and welcome to Continuous Integration with Unity. This is part of learning about unit testing and the ways that unit testing can fit into your workflows. In this section, we'll do a brief introduction of the topic, and then we'll look at Unity Cloud Build as one way that you can set up continuous integration and continuous deployment for your Unity projects. As we've seen in the software development lifecycle for creating games, Unity is used most predominantly in the development, testing, and deployment phases. When we talk about doing unit testing, we're adding that into steps five and six here. And when we're talking about continuous integration and continuous deployment, we're really looking at all three of those steps and ways to automate our testing and fold it into our production workflows. So what is continuous integration and continuous deployment? CICD, as it's called, reduces code errors and defects, making it crucial to every DevOps workflow. The developer operations is typically the final stage or stages where your project is being tested, going live, and having new updates added to the live experience. CICD involves practices of frequently integrating your code changes, automatically integrating that code, and then releasing builds to your end users. So if you're doing all of that together, you're doing the full CI CD process, but you can also do one or the other or focus on key areas of the workflow for yourself. Now, CI CD is not unique to Unity. And during the years of Unity's professional development and being used in the industry, more and more third parties have added tools to give you continuous integration and continuous deployment inside Unity. Some of the technologies that are used are GitHub and GitLab to hold the code or to store the code where you have it online in version control, but there's other operations you can use as well for that. But there's other technologies in there as well. And then tools like Circle CI or Game CI, Code Magic, Bamboo, Unity Cloud Build, Jenkins. These are technologies built on top of wherever your code is being version controlled and being able to plug in the right triggers to cause the right actions for the workflow that makes sense for you. Two that are most relevant to this video because it's what I've used is GitHub to host the repo that we're going to build and Unity Cloud Build as the tool that will do the building and the testing. So we've mentioned that CI CD combines the practices of continuous integration and continuous delivery. So the integration is about putting your new code into the production. That includes testing it, building it, and getting it into the code. The continuous delivery or continuous deployment, as it's also called, this automates the delivery of that code to the build target. So this is different. This isn't just putting your code into the project, that's CI. This is putting it into the hands of your end users. So that is the CD. Now, up until this point in the course, we've seen that unit testing is incredibly useful to help shape how our code matures, and then certainly how we maintain and debug that code. And we've been manually doing the testing. So that means even though we create some automated testing, we either play the runtime experience as a user and look for bugs that way, is one way to manually test. And the other thing that we're doing is we're manually clicking the button in the Unity test runner window to run those tests. So let's take a look at some bullet points for manual. First of all, it, we're not guaranteeing any automated process happens, so we can't guarantee any results. It is more unreliable and error prone than an automated alternative. These repetitive tasks, running them yourself every once in a while, remembering to do that, looking diligently at the results, that all takes energy and these repetitive tasks can be boring. And when things are boring, developers may skip them or do them less frequently. And lastly, if we forget to test, then we don't have any good updated status on how our project is doing. However, if we take all the best practices we have in setting up those tests and we also automate the running of those tests, and even the delivery of our code to our end users, we can take advantage of more benefits. For example, we have a reliable repetitive process here when we have automatic CI CD set up. We have quick and relevant feedback. We can choose and we'll see what triggers each build, but if we want to do it for every commit to Git repo, then every time we do a commit to a Git repo, the tests get run, the build gets verified, 
and we get notified about that. So you can do it more or less frequently depending on what your needs are. It gives you more confidence in your code, so there's less risks when you go into refactoring systems or adding new features. And lastly, by having one-click builds available to everyone and then automating that on top, we have a foundation of this confidence and the security in our code base that allows us to more easily collaborate with others. We'll be able to know whose contributions continue to keep the project stable, which is an incredibly effective piece of info to have when you're working on a team. So stepping back here, looking at a visual way, the continuous integration is the code merges, the code gets built, then in the continuous delivery, we look to see that our tests have passed. Then we move it to a staging environment, which is somewhere that is not yet ready for the end users, but almost there. And we make sure that the process works really well before we deploy it out to the end users. Now you can do automated testing and automated delivery of those testing results, regardless of having any particular flow to how you program your code in the version control. But just to talk about the potential alignment and connections here, this shows uh, what could be different commits on different branches in version control. I'm using Git, so let's just pretend I'm using Git here and I have a main or a master branch there. And then I do all my development work on a second developer branch. And then each time I want to create a new feature, I would branch off of development, give it a name like let's say feature main menu quit button. And then I would go and add that main menu quit button and be sure that that branch only speaks to the changes required for that particular feature. So let's say I had feature number one there at the bottom, I would finished it up. Here's some of the potential places that we could have the automated CI CD process run. First of all, starting at the bottom there, each time I commit to my development feature branch, I could kick off a automated build to make sure that all the tests run and that everything is working particularly well. That's number one. Then I might kick that back to a larger feature in step number two. And as I merge it back to that development branch, I want to do an automated build test hitting potentially all the different target platforms. That means the automated tests could be run inside the Unity editor in iOS, in Android, on device, not on device, you've got lots of different options there. Then lastly, when that develop branch is ready and has all of the latest features put to it and we wanna test out how that would work on the master branch, we have number three there, where before I go to commit it into the, um, the top line there, the main or the master branch, what I could do is merge from the main branch back to develop, then make sure that everything works well on the development branch. And then only if that works well, then I commit to the main or master branch. So you can see that you don't have to have these certain steps in any particular order, but you can have testing help as much or as little as you like along this workflow. Another high level recap, just to see this information a few different ways. This is specifically to Unity Cloud build instructions here, but I think the steps given are high level enough it's true of most competitors as well. The first thing you wanna do is set up your build automation. So you point the build automation to the version control where your code is sitting. In my case, that would be connecting Unity Cloud Build and connecting it into GitHub where I have a repo for the project. Then you decide on what trigger to have. This is uh, perhaps committing a change to your project on a specific branch or merging from one branch into another branch or you can set up different rules you want. The idea here is to not be running it manually, but instead have some part of your development process automatically trigger. So that would be number two here. Then number three, on some trigger, when you release the code, when you commit the code, when you merge the code, whatever you decide, the build gets automatically created. And in step three is where the tests would be run as well. And then finally, the team gets notified when the project has been deployed. So in that example flow we just saw, at each of those moments, whoever wants to could subscribe to an email that says, uh, this feature branch was merged to this one. That's not really my area of expertise, so I'm not going to listen to any notifications there. But all developers perhaps would want to be notified 
through the system for anything merged to that final main or master branch. And having that CI CD system in there at those key steps is going to confirm that your unit tests all pass, that none of them fail, and that all that works with success, that your project builds. You can imagine there's scenarios even where the tests would all pass that maybe the build doesn't work. Maybe there's some code that is broken or some asset that is broken that does not have test coverage yet. And just the fact that the project gives an error during the build process is a very solid piece of debugging info to have. You'll also know the time, date, and branch that caused the issue, so that helps you focus out where, uh, where to look to fix the problem. And then finally, the project would deploy with success. So we've seen that the CI CD is important for us to be able to know that the project built, but it's especially powerful combining with unit testing. So not only did it build, but it built with all passing tests. And a recap on unit testing, since that's the topic of the whole course, as your project grows with more scripts, classes, and methods, it becomes difficult to ensure that a change in one part of your code doesn't break things somewhere else. Automated testing helps you check your code is functioning as expected. Testing saves you time by finding out when and where problems occur as soon as they're introduced, rather than waiting for manual testing, users testing, it becomes much more expensive the later you find these bugs. So having the system is quite good. And we remember something quite counterintuitive is the 80-20 rule. It is that 80% of the time we're working on fixing bugs and maintaining our existing code base. And 20% of time is where we're adding new features and new functionality. We often think that most of our day is spent adding new features. So that's where we want to place our mental energy. However, we see from research that having good tests unit test practices, having good automated testing, having a CI CD system, it tremendously impacts and improves the efficiency of your 80%. So it's really looking at where you can make the most impact with changes to your workflow. So before we look at an example of doing the CI CD itself, let's recap the simplest type of class here. Imagine we have a my math system that does some addition and does some subtraction. Then here we have a unit test, which is a separate file and a separate class. Using the test attribute here, this will grab an instance of that last class we saw, create it, test one particular unit or method of it, being wary of unintended inputs and unintended outputs to that system, and verifying that the asserted result is the one that we get. Now, in the case of Unity Cloud Build, when you've got tests like that set up in your project, and you've got the project itself configured in the CI CD system, you can expect to be able to manually or automatically run those builds by visiting Unity Cloud Build in this case, which is a web based tool. See that the build built for the target platform, in this case, we're testing Windows Desktop 64 bit. We see that all the edit mode tests pass and all the play mode tests pass. All that happens for you automatically based on the trigger that you've decided. So this is fantastically useful. Then those on the team that are interested can get an email. There's a little snippet of an email there that just shows, hey, somebody on the team did a build. The build was triggered because this branch was merged to that branch or whatever it was. And here are the results. They can allow you to click through to a web page or summarize it in the email. Now this CI CD topic, as well as the basics of unit testing, fundamentals of them, advanced topics as well, like talking about pure functions and handling individual workshops for some advanced topics like scenes, prefabs, and addressables. It's all part of this course here. You can check out the link below if you are not yet in the course and check out the trailers, enroll in the course, and get started on your learning today. And if you're already a student of the course and you're finding this video inside the course itself, Thank you for being a student, and I look forward to seeing you in future classes as well. So overall here, what we've been able to see is that, is that unit testing itself is a tremendously powerful tool that helps you to have more efficiencies in the areas of development where you're spending lots of time. Remember that 80% we saw of overall development effort is maintenance and debugging of existing systems. So since we recognize how big of an area of our life that is, it's awesome that we have tools like Unity unit testing 
NCI CD with tools like Unity Cloud Build or other community tools to be able to give us all these benefits and automate the delivery of these testing results, the build results, and the delivery of the builds themselves.